Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Friday morning and a very rainy, horrible Friday morning. I just wanted to show you while I have this on the floor. Uh, it's a lot easier putting the um, motor in while it's down like this. So it goes into the slot there, which the slot's about 10.5mm wide. And the uh, thread from the electric bike, you see it's a square on two sides. I don't have a name for that, I'm sorry. But that fits in there like so and then can be adjusted. Problem I've got at the moment that I'm trying to suss out is I need more room on this end to put a nut on. And I haven't got any room on that end. I'm just gonna measure the distance between this and this because I believe it may be bending to the left a bit that way and the right a bit that way. So if I measure if the t distance at the top between these two plates is greater than this, then I'll need to get some M10 bolts and squeeze that together a bit but I just wanted to show you that's how the motor fits in and that's how it's going to work I think the electric bike motor can be a very reliable wind turbine generator because you can get these motors quite cheaply this is a 48 volt uh, 1 kilowatt and I just think they're actually pretty reliable that'll be the kiss of death won't it but anyway that's how the motor goes in because you won't really be able to see very well when it's upside down and under here you can see these are the nuts that we can tighten up to push the motor upwards and to tighten the chain 